driving, <laughs> I'm driving this wonderful old Ford Model A because I want to be in Harold's footsteps. The sort of car that Harold Abrams might have driven himself. I have to concentrate quite hard. <laughs> Harold Abrams was born in Bedford in 1899. His father was a Jewish immigrant who made a small fortune as a financier. Athletics was in the family's blood. His much older brothers were both Olympians. And Sydney had been to Cambridge, competing for the university in the long jump. They encouraged the young Harold by devising time trials. And if he failed to meet them, they'd hit him over the head with a newspaper. He arrived in Cambridge in 1919, a year after the end of the First World War. Good morning, school. I'm going to see Sir Helen first. I'm meeting the incoming master of Keyes College, where Abrams went to university. Sir Helen. Very nice to meet you. Welcome to Keys. Thank you very much. Show you around. Thank you so much. I understand that Harold had a brother here. Yes, his brother was at Emmanuel College. Um, his brother was a fine sportsman. And Harold was envious of his brother and wanted to emulate him and, in fact, overtake him. Right. So his brother spurred him on. But in the movie, he wasn't the talented older brother that drove Harold to be the fastest man at Cambridge. Who's Abrahams? What do you know about him? Reverend Jewish. His father's a financier in the city. Financier? What's that supposed to mean, I wonder? Harold's father sent him to Repton, a public boarding school in Derbyshire. It was here that his athletics flourished, but he felt that the headmaster, Geoffrey Fisher, singled him out for being Jewish. These are the very rooms in which Abrahams lived when he was a student, and they would have hardly have changed since then. That's my father, a Lithuanian Jew. He is alien. He's as foreign as a Frankfurter. And a kosher one at that. My own favourite seat is the one in the dressing gown. You get to know him. You get to know him very well. And I think it's a very important scene because he